What's up, guys? We're going to be talking about The Queen of Crows by Mike Cole. This is the second book in the Sacred Throne trilogy. Um, this is coming right after The Armored Saint. It was published in 2018. Uh, so it was published in the same year as The Armored Saint, so it's kind of like back to back. Um, so if you haven't read The Armored Saint yet, the review for this book is, I mean, I'm probably going to have some spoilers for The Armored Saints. It's kind of hard not to say some stuff now going into book number two. So if you haven't read Armored Saint yet uh, and, and you're interested in the series, I would really, you know, encourage you to go do that before maybe getting into this review. Uh, the books are short, man. They're really easy and fast you can read them quick, so you're, it's not going to take you much longer, and you can come back and check out this review. All right, so now when the story's starting, we basically are picking up right after the Armored Saint uh, in the village of Lutet. Now, we're in the Armored Saint. The world here was very uh, confined to Lutet and Hammersdown, the two villages that are right next to each other. But see, now in the Queen of Crows... Mike Cole really starts to open up the world to us. So I would say also, whereas the Armored Saint is really focused on the uh, Helloise's confusion and coming to it, coming of age kind of story, now this story is kind of her having to come to grips with becoming a leader, you know, and the struggles that that all contains. So when we start out, basically... Bernard has just fashioned the other set of power armor for Helloise. It's like custom fit now. So whereas in the last book she was kind of, didn't really fit in it but made it work kind of thing. Now it's custom fit for her. So it's a perfect fit and she can it's a gigantic suit of armor. Um, also, she's being kind of heralded as the Palantine now. Because she killed the devil at the end of the last book. Um, yeah. So, like I said, in the beginning, Helloise and the town, the, the, the village of Lutet, they all know after everything that's gone down at the end of the Armored Saint that the Order is going to be coming back to their town. And basically, they're screwed, you know, because the Order is ruthless and they're not. They're not going to come to take any prisoners. It's just going to be a bloodbath. Everybody knows it. So at this point, the entire town and Helloise and her new power armor are set out to basically create an ambush so they can kind of get one step ahead of the order and possibly put an end to all of this. And this is really kind of where it all starts to take off. All right. And what has it got? It's got... The Return of the Ruthless Pilgrims. It's got hasty ambushes, a traveling folk, healing magic, betrayal, and a siege to die for. Alright, so now that we have scratched the surface, we can get into it. So, we'll start out with the pace. Just like the last one, it's a fast-paced book. Just over 200 pages. So, I mean, I, this is what I feel Mike Cole does a really good job at just trimming all the fat off of a book. You know, um, like I said in the last one, it's a no bullshit book. Same same thing here. It's got a very specific job to take you from point A to point B in a very fast way. And it, But it still does a very good job of bringing you the story along the way. I do kind of have to mention, though, something along with the pace because I think it could trip some people up, especially struggling readers. Um, because all the fat being trimmed off the book, there's not a lot of time for a description, right? So during the siege part of this book in The Town of Lies, uh, you don't really get a huge, like a very descript, like, uh, explanation of, of the town you don't really know what like what it looks like really you know what i mean basically all that stuff comes into frame like during the action during the siege when everything's going fucking bonkers is when you're kind of learning the layout of the land so for me that i even i was getting a little confused because it was like man i didn't know that there was a tower here or a ramparts here blah 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 you know so 
because of, that is kind of, I think, one of the cons I would say out of the book is because it's got no fat on it, there, there's, there's not as much description as maybe I would like. And I'm a guy that likes low description, so don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, I think that this could trip people up because you're just, you're not, you're not unaware of your environment and you're slammed into it. So just look out for that, all right? So now that brings us to the tone. So once again, we got a grim, dark book. It's just like the first one. Very dark tone, very dark stuff. Um, I would say, though, where the first book is very concentrated on, like, uh, Hella Wise's coming-of-age story, this one is definitely more concentrated on her coming to be a leader. So it's much more focused on that and her struggle as, you know, as she's trying to lead these people. I mean, she's still very young, you know, but now I mean, we consider her a woman, but, she, you know, she's never been to battle. So she's still having to do a lot of stuff that's very new and foreign to her. And um, part, I mean, honestly, I don't know if many people are comic book fans, but uh, there's a leader of, of a group called X Factor. His name was Havoc. And he was a great leader, but he, like, second-guessed himself all the time. And Hellowise kind of reminded me of that, like, the way that she led. You know, she was constantly doubting herself, I feel like, you know. Uh, and, and maybe that, sometimes it almost even got a little annoying because it was just like, I kind of wanted her to just run with it, you know. Even though she does, I mean, it's just the constant doubt. But maybe, you know, being in her shoes, that might be exactly what it's like. This is a very bleak you know, existence, that tone has not changed, you know what I mean, it's still a hell of a world to live in, you know, so, easy for me to say when I, you know, I live in the now. Uh, as far as characters in the book, we have all of the characters coming in from the Armored Saint, uh, the survivors, I should say, and then we are introduced to some new characters in the book, though I don't really want to go too much in depth with it. It's a short book, so I feel like getting to know these new characters is is a good surprise, and we just, I'm going to leave it at that, you know? But one returning character I'd like to talk about that came over from uh, the Armored Saint is one of the members of the Order, one of the Pilgrims, and uh, his name is Tone, and now you can... After, through this book, I mean, you can start to see this, like, rivalry between Hellowise and Tone. It's become very, very personal, uh, and it's very fun to, to read. I really enjoy Tone as a, as a character in this, uh, in this book. He's a great bad guy. I mean, he's really becoming that son of a bitch that you, you love to hate, you know, and you're glad that he's in here, though, because he just... I feel like he, he's written realistic, like he's a believable bad guy. He's not super overpowered. He's got his flaws. Um, so yeah, I can appreciate that, you know, all around. The character of Tone, thumbs up, Mike Cole. All right, so I really, really enjoyed this book as well. Um, I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as the first one, but I mean, it's it's like right, right there, you know what I mean? Uh, if I... And I feel like that's funny because, you know, being that the other one's a coming-of-age story, just really not my style, but it was just, I loved it so much. Uh, this book is definitely what I would want, though, out of the second book. It's got all the action uh, th that you're going to want. Trust me, it's it's full of that. This is still another great book for struggling slow readers. You can, you can knock this book out fairly quickly, a couple of days even. So uh, this is why I'm really trying to promote it on this channel because I think this is just the stuff that's, that's great for you. It's great for starting out. It's great if you've already been reading for a while. It's just good. As well as so far, my assumption on the trilogy being more like one total book, I feel like, yes, we're still on that track. I feel like the second book in the series now feels like we just made it to the middle of the book uh and that's good i like that you know what i mean uh i'm really excited to read the last one i have do have it picked up and i'm not sure exactly how soon i'm gonna get into it i am doing a buddy read right now with my buddy gregory so i the main character being female i don't know if i want to read two books at the same time with female main characters because i could start to uh you know mix them up or whatnot so we'll see uh, if at latest next month you'll we'll be doing the killing light that's the next book in the series but we're not there yet we're here still telling you you should get out there 
check this out. It's a fast read. It's enjoyable. I think Mike Cole has really done something cool here, man. Uh, he's, like I said, he's just found a way to, to create a, a lightning fast read. And, and, and you really do get drawn into it. And it's so strange because it kind of is not the same as a lot of other fantasy. Like I said, like, he hasn't done this extreme amount of world building that you almost always see in fantasy. Uh, but, uh, you know, the characters in here are, are awesome. And, you know, the, the, the trouble that they're going through, this journey that we're going on is amazing. Um, so it's very entertaining, man. I'm just trying to get it out there. For the slow and struggling, and really anybody. Because I think really anybody's going to enjoy this. Especially if you like dark fantasy. I, I feel like this is just going to have a, a huge audience. You know what I mean? Yeah, the people that might not like this are probably going to be the people that want a lot out of a book. You know what I mean? They want more epic, they, you know, more fantastical. Um, but this is a great place to start. This is a great place if you're in between. It's a great place if you just want to do something quick, man. So... Thanks for watching, guys. And I know it's 4th of July weekend coming up, so everybody be safe out there, alright? Thanks, guys.